is Yeon Mei good? Well, most people are already doubting her capabilities and comparing her to Branya, saying that she's not as impressive even though she's the first in the Harmony 5 star. <coughs> and same goes to me, that's why I don't at first. You know, after using Branya and seeing what she could do for the team, and how every single team basically leads her because she straight up applies a damage buff, not even attack buff, and she also gives them a, a free turn instantly, which is kind of OP. And that's why everyone is like kind of overestimating what a 5 star harmony could do. But uh, here's the first thing, so I'm here to uh, basically go over the skills first. So let me pull up that uh, info stuff. Okay, so she has the typical normal attack that does ice damage. So she is 5 star harmony, that's an ice character. And we don't really care about the normal attack. So her skill, the main thing about harmony character is the skill. Okay, so after she uses her skill, she gains this effect that lasts for 2 turns called Overtone. You know, kind of another Fushuani type of character. Okay, so Overtone basically gives everyone 18% speed. And, uh, well, this is the max level. This is probably level 10. 18% speed and 50% break efficiency. So, people don't get that there's two things about break. There's break effect and break efficiency. And so far in the game, there's only been break effect buffs, which is to break the toughness, the white chunk on top of the HP bar, faster. But this is different. Break efficiency is uh, the damage dealt after you break something. Unless, of course, they just have bad translation, and it's literally the same thing, which uh, it's whatever. <coughs> but yeah, the main part is the 18% speed. And let's just say it's around 10% more break stuff. We, we don't know, because it could be just bad wording. Okay, so the ultimate, on the other hand, is a two, two turn ding, and it reduces for every uh, one every turn. I forgot to mention, her skill reduces by one every time your mate takes a turn. So it's literally whole ho skill. Okay, back to the ultimate. So what the ultimate does for two turns is that all allies inside the field gets 24% 20, penetration. This is a new buff. I don't think any single character we have has this type of buff currently. But basically, well based on all the other games I've played, penetration is literally damage break. But instead of the enemies having the damage uh, defense lower, the allies get the buff, so it's, in other words, let's just say it's a better version of defense, uh, ignore. So, seam rend extends weakness break duration. Okay, so every time an ally attacks someone inside the field, they apply this thing called seam rend, which extends the break duration. So whenever you break someone, uh, they basically, you know, take their... They get a D advanced forward, so they they go backwards and it delays their action. Oh, it says right here, delays by fifteen percent of your maze break effect. So basically, that means your maze has to stack the break set. So get her to have the most break effect as possible. You definitely go want break effect stats. This is the first character that wants that, which is new, and I hope uh, it's interesting. And then she also gets 10% more additional ice damage <laughs> after you break someone. Only for her though, it seems. But it could it could change, obviously. This is, they're still in work. But yeah. Talent. All damage increased by 37% after breaking the enemy's weakness. So basically, yeah, more damage whenever you break someone. And uh, this seems insane, but it's actually, you know, it's not that much time. Let's just say it's only a third of the battle where you break someone, which it's okay. So let's just say like a 10% uh, efficiency. 
and they also do additional 15% ice damage, so it's like Tang Yun's Dengi, which is really nice too. Bonus traces, alright let's go over it, traces later. I don't think we need to worry about technique, it's not much of a big deal. Yeah, it just removes more toughness and increases the damage of the toughness break. Yeah, that's really just it for the technique. Traces, so she basically increases break effect by 20%, really nice, because that also applies to her her skill whenever it, it makes them delay a bit more, which is nice too. And defense, more break effect. Energy per turn. Oh, this is actually huge. Wow. Five energy per turn. That's massive. Your enemy is on the field. Weakness damage. I mean, weakness broken enemies by 24%. But this is only for. I'm, I'm not sure. It doesn't really say specifically if it's only for her or the, or the full team. But, uh. It seems like it's only for her. But yeah, speed, defense, uh, so much defense though. Break effect, nice, nice. Speed, more break effect, nice. Really nice. I actually like the traces a lot, but I don't see any defense scaling, so that's kind of a waste. But yeah, as you can see, she's like heavily dependent on break. And I, I can see why people don't like her. Because it's like, oh, break is only a tiny portion of, of a battle. So that doesn't really contribute much. Other than the 18% speed. And she is also uh, skill point neutral. Because she's just like a ho ho. Two turns and it decreases one every time your mate takes a turn. So you don't want to have too much speed. Okay, other than this, I'd say... Let's go over to the light cone. I wonder if I can find the light cone down here. Let's see. Oh, right here. Alright, I had to feed my dog real quick. He was quite hungry, so I'm back. So her light cone. So you can see that she regens 10 energy every wave. So it's not that big of a deal too. It's kind of like Fushan's light cone of her. She heals every wave, but instead she regens 10, which is, I guess is actually non-existent levels. Okay, but uh, she increases damage by 15% for all allies, every time she uses skill. Lasts us for 3 turns. Okay, wait, wait, let me, let me read this better. Increases all damage by 15% and also increases all penetration for speed boot boosted allies by 6%. But you don't have to worry about this because her skill basically applies a speed boost. So basically, both these buffs are applied. And it lasts for a total of 3 turns. That is, uh, yeah, it basically means a Fushon thing. So 15% extra damage that is huge for from just a light cone I feel like that is this is literally by itself better than the skill better than uh, uh, your MA skill itself and 6% let's just say penetration value uh, is literally defense break so let's just say it's a, a third of the value so it's around 2% extra damage but yeah, this is really, really good light cone. Like, I'd say if you're going for Yuren Bay, you have to go for this light cone. Like, 50% of it, what she does is from the light cone. But yeah, I'm definitely saving up for her light cone. And the character. But I guess that's really just it, I could say. I, I could go back to her Edelons and see what her Edelons would do. But obviously the E1 also broken extends by one turn. I might go for this because this basically makes it into a Fushuan. 
increases attack by 40%. Huge. 40% is uh, really big. Uh, Brickness, 100%. Two turns. Uh, this is kind of useless because, uh, first of all, whenever you break someone, you uh, whenever they recover, it wastes one turn. So that's like kind of a, like really hard to get off, unless they mean break effect by like the damage, which I have no clue because the wording is really you know, pretty bad. Right, on the field increases by 40% crit damage to weakness broken. Also not that good. Her last Edelon. Whenever her break effect. Oh wait, her ultimate last is one turn longer. Really good. And whenever her break effect is over 180, or one for every 10% over it, her ultimate does 24% more damage. Uh it's kind of actually not that good either. It's actually one of the first few ones that aren't as good, but the ultimate lasting one turn longer is okay. But yeah, that's really just a to your May. So I kinda do agree to the to the dots that she's not as impressive as she seems other than the 18% speed. Because that's really just what she provides. 80% speed. The damage that she the damage buffs itself, uh, there's not much other than the penetration. And everything else is on the break, which I guess that's why people think she isn't that good. Because the break character is, in the end of the day, not as valuable. So yeah, it's her light cone that makes her really, really valuable. 15% extra damage. <coughs> so yeah.